<clears throat> Welcome back to Nick Linus Comic Corner Classic Less Known Classics. This is episode number 26, 60, no, 71, and double number 2565. These two trades, both for my Ben Percy, and the last trade to review before I do the cross between these two weapons of entrance. Now, I thought I had reviewed this book. Turns out I didn't. I, I accidentally skipped this book, but here we go. We have Wolverine by Ben Percy, Volume 5, which contains Wolverine Volume 7, Issues 26 to 30. Yep. Ben Percy is the writer of these issues, obviously, with uh, the, the cover art, that wonderful cover art. That is Lee Lena Francis Yu and Rama Fredon Jr. Our interior work by Juan Jose Rupp. Uh, mostly put, you have some, you have some, you have Spider Man and the X Men deal with some Venom stuff here. Probably do some King of Black stuff. And then we move on to the main book itself. Also, love this artwork here of Lady Deathstrike. She looks, she looks beautiful. So the story is called Beast Agenda. Yeah, this is basically Ben Percy turning Beast into a villain. Yep. That is literally what this arc is. We have this guy called Jeff, who is literally based upon Jeff Bridges from uh, from the dude. Oh, excuse me. The Big Lebowski. Yeah, it's mostly him just hanging out. Just not really a big character, per se, just here. Uh, they have Wolverine with X-Force. He with a mission by for them. And now, Beast is supposed to be their coordinator, and he has become a villain because he apparently has become. And then we he Wolverine gets kidnapped by this old guy to be auctioned off, and Beast basically wants to be one and kills him. He gets killed, gets out. Yes, and then he goes after and tries to go after Beast, who apparently is like a, like a mind control thing, kind of, and. It's a weird storyline. Apparently, like, you have, you have basically killing Wolverine, taking his skull. It's like, what in the world happened to Beast? It's like, yeah, Sage, even Kokoa, basically. Also, Wolverine, for some reason, in this book. Now, at one point, you see Wolverine where he's ditched the brown costume for... This is not a joke. Uh, for some reason, uh, Wolverine has decided to go back to his... X-Force costume. Well, his costume from his uncanny, from his uh, X-Force Volume 3 when Chris Jones and Kyle wrote it and the recommender uh, 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 Uncanny X-Force. Yes, yeah, this black, this black and gray, this, this uh, black and gray costume. I don't mind this costume. It's one of my favorite costumes, Wolverine. I'm not a fan of the brown one. It's like he went, he went to his costume because uh, and he wears his costume a lot of the book. That's why I figured a weapon X, a little bit of brain stuff here. Uh, yeah, it's basically you can call this story arc. Yeah, the story arc where Beast became a supervillain because of how Ben Percy wrote him. Uh, but still, good book overall. Give the book roughly a nine out of ten. Next up, we have is Ghost Rider. This is the third volume. This goes from Ben Ben Percy, Volume Three, Drag to Hell. Uh, this is Ghost Rider. I believe this is Volume Nine, Issues. 11 to 16. Yep. Most of the put a lot of these issues is to put just Johnny Blaze and Talia Ward going on missions, having sex, even sex in a shower. Yes, seriously. And he, they even go to like, they, he gets his, or Johnny Blaze gets his, his clothes squashed up. So he goes to like a mall and gives up, he takes his own clothes in, in the store and gets brand new clothes. This is a little boy who wants to touch with the clothes. Like, what? Yeah, it's really weird. And you might be thinking, looking at Talia Ward, you're like, okay, this woman is an FBI agent. Okay, so I have a question. How in the world can anybody buy this one with tattoos, with the bone, and this necklace? How can anybody buy that this woman is an FBI agent? And apparently she, she, she definitely is. She's got the badge. Yes, and apparently she and Blaze are in this sort of relationship where uh, you could think of it as a toxic one. It will, he's, first, you have Johnny Blaze rides out. It looked like his regular motorcycle. He had the start of the run. And then he gets wrecked, and he starts riding in the same car as... Uh, then he starts riding in the same car as uh, Talia Ward. 
yeah, so like kissing him and biting him, and then right as the car, he gets a brand new motorcycle. Because the reason why, because he can, and of course, they go to Savannah where it's being burned. Yeah, it's such a weird demonic stuff here. Uh, it's quite interesting what it is, and then we have her basically go down to her shorts and do some ritual in a, at a love hotel for reasons. Yep, and then of course they find oh no, Dan Ketch has been turning to a version of, of basically a weapon of vengeance. Yes, this look like you look at the the look at look at page. Yeah, that's Dan Ketch. He's been cyberized, and of course look for him, and eventually they they do in fact find him. Yes, taken to Infernal Labs. Where he's been taken to the, to the Weapon X program, of course. Ooh, look at this. Talia Ward, she's butt naked. And it's so obvious the fact he will you read this scene that yes, Talia and him had sex in the shower. Because of course, that these two constantly have sex. And then of course, basically, like and we have ooh, we have this really, really good looking motorcycle. I love that. Then he officially becomes this. And and then of course he's big. He does not want him to die because he's basically his brother. And he's like, let's go to lock Crash, Roxanne, Craig, and Emma. So who is Craig and Emma? Craig and Emma is Johnny Blaze's children with Roxanne Sampson. Crash was his adoptive father. Well, his foster father anyways. Roxanne was his wife. Uh, Roxanne got killed during. Uh, Howard Mankey's run for Ghost Rider back in the 90s and still is deceased this very day. Uh, the children are rumored to be deceased, but it's never been officially confirmed. It's been mentioned, but it's never... Uh, no one's ever proven the fact these two are dead. It's that they were lost and, well, his brother's the only thing. And, of course, that she entirely would use her power to heal him. So, I think it looks like it goes to hell... And well, tries to basically get Danny's soul back and get the scientist. And well, he's kind of in a way back to normal. Yep, and kind of what Danny was up to doing. And then for some reason, we see Robbie Reyes in this book. Yes, Robbie Reyes. Yep, he's here. I think it was just after he had just wrapped up his time with the with the Avengers. So that's why he appeared in this book. And then, then, then uh, this mysterious guy who is this guy with the skull. It's like, has he sold his bag? Like, what? And then we have Dan Ketch and Johnny Blaze, trans John Dan Ketch and Robert Reyes transform. Fight up these skin people. Like, ugh, what the heck? It seems like this whole last issue has nothing to do with Johnny Blaze at all. It's more like to do with uh, Dan Ketch and Robert Reyes. And the book ends leading into Weapon of Adventures crossover. Uh, quite interesting what this book is. Uh, sadly put, basically, gnawing out the web of dimensions, this book would end. No, seriously, like, not, like, almost immediately after the web of dimensions end. Now, Wolverine, that would continue for a little while. Uh, though, it has been confirmed that this current volume is in issue 50. But, in the case of, uh, Ghost Rider, like, this would last. Like, after this issue, after you read Fisher history, like, how many more issues have to go for this run? Five and two of them basically part of a crossover. Yep, and it continues as Vengeance for Vengeance Forever, for some reason. And does Ben Purge to write it? He does. Yes, he does. I only give this book roughly a nine out of ten. It does match the story a lot. It's like eleven through fifteen is basically all Johnny Blaze. Sixteen has nothing to do with him. It just basically focuses on his brother. Excuse me, which I do appreciate that because. Dan Ketch could Ghost Rider, but it seems like he transfers to Ghost Rider once, and seeing Rob Reyes in the book is interesting. Because this is probably the first time he's appeared in the main Ghost Rider book since, since he had a self titled Ghost Rider book after all new Ghost Rider. Yep. But yeah, that's the pretty much it for particular view. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Um, so, I do have one comment corner to the left. But I'm probably gonna save it for later. Actually, two. I have like two left. 
Uh, those two will not be handled until much later on after my stream because I got a stream to do really soon. Okay, so to this next video, bye.